Game Theory with Engineering Application Unit 2 for RGPV Exam 2023. 1. Game Theory. Game Theory is a mathematical framework used to study strategic decision-making and interactions between rational players. It analyzes situations where the outcome of an individual's decision depends not only on their actions but also on the actions of others. Game Theory models interactions as games, with players, strategies, payoffs, and rules that determine the outcomes. 2. Introducing Design. Design is a creative and purposeful process of conceptualizing and creating artifacts, systems, or experiences. Design involves problem solving, aesthetics, functionality, and user experience to meet specific objectives and requirements. Design plays a significant role in shaping how people interact with products, services, environments, and even game systems. 3. Design and Meaning in Game Theory Design and meaning are relevant concepts in the context of game theory as they influence players' decision-making and overall experience. Designing games involves creating meaningful and engaging experiences for players, considering aesthetics, mechanics, and narratives. Meaning can be infused into game design through various elements, such as a. Game mechanics. Designing game mechanics that provide meaningful choices, strategic depth, and engaging interactions for players. b. Aesthetics. Designing visual and audio elements that evoke certain emotions, immerse players in the game world, and convey meaning. c. Narrative and storytelling. Designing game narratives that create meaningful contexts, motivations, and character development. d. Player experience. Designing games with user-centered approaches, focusing on the overall experience and meaningful player engagement. a. Social dynamics. Designing multiplayer games that foster meaningful social interactions, cooperation, competition, or negotiation among players. 4. Designing games with meaning. Designing games with meaning involves creating experiences that resonate with players and convey messages or themes. Meaningful game design can involve a. Symbolism and metaphors. Using symbols and metaphors to represent deeper concepts, emotions, or ideas within the game. b. Ethical considerations. Incorporating ethical dilemmas, moral choices, or consequences that prompt players to reflect on their actions. C. Cultural relevance. Designing games that incorporate cultural references, traditions, or narratives that resonate with specific audiences. D. Emotional impact. Designing game experiences that evoke strong emotions, such as empathy, joy, fear, or sadness, to create meaningful connections with players. In summary, game theory provides a framework for analyzing strategic interactions, while design and meaning enhance the player experience, immersion, and the conveyance of messages or themes within games. Combining game theory with thoughtful design and meaningful experiences can create engaging and impactful games for players. 1. Semiotics, a brief overview. Semiotics is the study of signs and symbols and their interpretation in various contexts. It explores how meaning is created, communicated, and understood through signs and their relationships. Semiotics is concerned with the analysis of signs, signifiers, the physical form of signs, and signified, the concept or meaning associated with signs. It provides a framework for understanding how signs shape communication, culture, and human perception. 2. Four Semiotic Concepts A. Sign. A sign is a fundamental concept in semiotics. It refers to anything that conveys meaning, representing or standing for something else. Signs can be words, images, sounds, gestures, or objects. b. Signifier. The signifier is the physical form of a sign, the perceptible element that communicates meaning. For example, the word, apple, is the signifier for the concept of an apple. c. Signified. The signified is the concept or meaning associated with a sign. It is the mental representation or interpretation triggered by the signifier. Using the previous example, the concept of an apple is the signified. d. Interpretant. The interpretant is the understanding or interpretation of a sign by the observer or recipient. It refers to the meaning or understanding that arises from the interaction between the signifier and the signified. 3. Context shapes interpretations. Context plays a crucial role in shaping the interpretation and meaning of signs. The meaning of a sign can vary based on the cultural, social, historical, and situational context in which it is used. 
Different individuals or communities may interpret the same sign differently depending on their context and personal experiences. Context provides the framework within which signs are understood and allows for the creation of shared meanings within specific communities or cultures. Examples of Context Shaping Interpretations A. Cultural Context Signs and symbols can have different meanings across cultures. For instance, colors like red, white, and black may symbolize different concepts and emotions in different cultures. b. Social Context Signs can acquire specific meanings within social groups or communities. For example, hand gestures may have different interpretations in different social settings or cultures. c. Historical Context Historical events, movements, or cultural shifts can influence the interpretation of signs. Symbols that were once associated with certain ideologies may evolve in meaning over time. d. Situational context. The immediate context in which a sign is encountered can impact its interpretation. The same sign can have different meanings in different situational contexts, such as a traffic sign or a religious symbol. In conclusion, semiotics provides a framework for understanding the creation, communication, and interpretation of signs. The concepts of signs, signifiers, signified, and interpretant form the basis of semiotic analysis. The meaning of signs is shaped by the context in which they are used, including cultural, social, historical, and situational factors.